Hello everybody and welcome to another session of Scuba Talk. Today we're going to talk about what kind of gear we want to take with us when we go on a scuba vacation um, or when we just go on vacation and we might do some diving. We'll be right back. On this week of Scuba Talk, what we wanted to talk about was when we go on vacation, what kind of gear, if any, do we want to take with us? Okay, so it really depends on what kind of vacation you're going to do. Okay, if you're booking a vacation where it's all diving, absolutely, I suggest take your own gear. Now, what I mean by that is I leave my weights and my tank at home. Okay, and I take my BC wetsuit, reg, dive computer, and I take all my other stuff. Wherever I'm going to dive, I can pick up a weights in a tank. Okay, now if I'm just going on vacation with my family, and we might be, say we're going to go to Cabo, um, and we're going on the cruise line, okay, and we book a dive, but it's only for two dives. The cruise might be a seven day cruise, right, or longer. But we're only going to do two dives. So in that case, what I might take with me would probably be, you know, just my wetsuit. Um, I'm real picky. And I might pick up a couple extra mouthpieces. I definitely want to take my, my, my own fins, my snorkel, and, and my own mask. Those I definitely want to take myself. Uh, you just don't know what you're going to get when you get to the rental company. You don't know the quality of the mask, quality of the snorkel. You don't know who the snorkel mouthpiece has uh, been in whose mouth. You don't know how well it's been cleaned. Okay, So I definitely take my fins. I'm comfortable with them. I definitely would take my own mask and snorkel and my own wetsuit. Those I would take right off the bat. Okay, Then... I would start looking at, okay, do I want to take my own BCD? Why do I want to take my own BCD? Okay, so you're going to find out a little more about the dive company on who you're going to be diving with. Okay, find out what kind of gear they got. Find out what they're going to loan you. Okay, because I'm the type of person, I don't want to wear a weight belt. I love the integrated weight system, and I love a back inflate. I don't like jacket inflate. Okay. So, uh, when we did go to Cabo, uh, we did find out that uh, when we were there, uh, the dive shop there uh, made you wear a weight belt. No, wrong. I took my own BCD. At that point, I said, no, I'm taking my own BCD with my own integrated weights. And so, basically, I took my own reg at that point, too. Going to a foreign country... Uh, you know, even though we think Mexico here in the United States may not be foreign, it is a foreign country. They use the metric system. Here in the United States, we use the imperial system. Okay? So, when you're looking at your air gauge, if you don't understand metric, which I do not, okay, you're going to be lost on how much air you have or your depth. Okay? So, I decided at that point, yes, I'm going to take my own. Uh, so I, I know exactly what I'm looking at. I know what gear I'm using, even though it was only for two dives, okay? Um, we were going on a cruise, so I was able to wheel my luggage aboard. I wasn't under any real uh, uh, luggage restrictions, so it made it sensible for me to go ahead and take my own gear. Had I had to fly, <clears throat> I would have looked at it differently. I might have said, no. I'm going to have to do the weight belt. I'm going to have to use their BCD because there you're under weight restrictions, and if you go over it, you're going to pay big money. So, uh, and just for two dives, no, I would have uh, used their their gear. Still would have probably tried to get in my my uh, personal gear, my my fins, mask, snorkel, and in my wetsuit. I definitely would have tried to get those in. Uh, but as far as my regulator and and BCD. No, I probably would have left those at home. But that's one of the advantages of diving on a cruise ship, okay? Uh, and you're going to hit dive spots, okay? That, especially when I'm coming back to the same terminal uh, that we started with, 
I don't have to, to worry about the, the luggage, so I can take my own gear. But if you're flying somewhere, big difference. Now, when I went to Truck Lagoon, I took all my own gear, uh, except for tanks and weights. But I did take all my own gear. Um, I made everything work for me. I made everything fit within the weight restrictions. And so I was there because when, when you're going on a dive vacation, okay, you want your own gear. You're not doing one or two dives. You're going to be diving. We did an average of three uh, dives a day, including a night dive. Uh, while we were there, we were there for uh, was it, uh, seven or ten days uh, while we were there. And so we did a lot of diving. So that's when you got to decide for yourself, what kind of gear am I going to take? Now, if you're going... Uh, say you're going to stay here in the United States and you're going to go from state to state and just travel and you have your family with you and you're in a car yeah chances are you're just going to go and rent gear from whatever place you get to even if you you take a flight somewhere uh, you may decide yeah, I'm not going to take my gear I'm going to rent but the thing of it is and the point I'm trying to make is you just want to look at how many days of diving am I going to do? What kind of gear do they have that they're going to put me in? Okay, you, If you already own your own gear, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know your gear. You know how everything works. You know how you put it. So, you know, if something should come up, boom. You know how to react to it. You know what you're doing. Okay, <clears throat> If you don't have gear and you're renting now and you're going on a vacation, you might as well go ahead and just rent. Okay. I wouldn't rent from a dive shop here and then take it with you. Most dive shops won't allow that to happen. But check the dive center that you're using, okay? There are a lot of good dive shops out there that maintain their gear really well. Uh, they sanitize their stuff. Uh, they, they work real hard for you, okay? However, there are some dive shops out there that are not very good. Um, I've had people tell me they've gone to different places they booked different dives, but the dive didn't get enough people, or it did get enough people, but they weren't notified that other people signed on, and they lost their money because they didn't go on the dive. So you need to really, really check the dive shop when you book. Um, you know, you can sign up for different programs through different agencies on travel insurance and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, check with your local dive shop. They'll pinpoint you to some good dive uh, companies. I'm sure they have references. So that would be another thing you can do. But when you travel, you know, I always like to take the bare uh, necessities unless I'm going to be diving a lot. That's my best answer. And I hope that helps you out there. Uh, I hope it gives you some insight to diving. Uh, you know, if, if you're a seasoned diver and, and you're out traveling quite a bit, Feel free to leave a comment down below. Tell me what kind of gear you take um, when you go on your different dive situations. I, I would love to hear, love to find out. Um, and it, we'll, we'll share it with the, with the rest of everybody. So for this session of Scuba Talk, I hope I, I put some insight out there to new divers. Uh, you know, and, and maybe to some divers, whether you've been diving a long time, but you just haven't traveled. Hopefully this will help you. The best thing, ask a lot of questions, especially if you're going in a group. Ask the people in your group. Okay, They're going to help you out. Okay, Talk to people that have been there before. There you go. That's another thing to do. Okay, So if, this, if you really like this session and you like the videos we put out, please give us a thumbs up and click the, the buttons down below and help us out there. And if there's anything I can do for you, please feel free to leave a comment in the links down below. And that'll do it for this session of Scuba Talk. So have fun, be safe, and keep diving.